I am going to Bali! I know it's been less than 24 hours since I've been in Bali, but I'm moving here <laughs> next year. I just did a morning surf. Totally broke the fin off the board. Oh, that's really good. The most perfect sunset right now. How do you say goodbye in Indonesian? Sampai jumpa. See you soon. See you again. Sampai jumpa. Hi vlog. I'm about to go to the Uluwatu surf break. My stomach's been really freaked up. I don't know what the last thing I vlogged was actually. I think it was us leaving Samambaya. So I had the biggest breakfast. I definitely overate like a lot and then sat in a car for almost three hours. And I feel like that freaked up my stomach, but just walking around right now helped a little bit. Went to the bathroom, that helped a little bit. But yeah, now it's about five o'clock and I want to watch the sunset. So I'm going to call my bike and I will see you there. Hi vlog, watching the sunset at Uluwatu. <laughs> going on a full day's adventure tour <laughs> around. Finally, I'm gonna get to see different temples today and see more cultural things. I've literally been here a week and a half and this is the first time I'm doing it. Oh, Better gosh. late than ever, never. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Lots of things to see, so enjoy this montage of my day right now. guys i wish i vlogged this but we just had a, a buffet i cannot talk during this vlog i just we just had a buffet i had three plates of food i was hungry but i didn't know i was that hungry but i would say i filled half my plate with salad each time so i feel like it kind of like balanced it out super full now but look how beautiful this whole like garden area is what is this place called? It's like Ulu. Ulu Danu. I'm exhausted now. I was really sleepy coming in here though. And now I'm just like full tired. Now we're gonna go somewhere else. I don't know where. Maybe a waterfall? Maybe another kind of touristy spot? I don't know. But I'll show you it as we continue through the montage.
go to the waterfall. adventure back up the stairs which I am not excited for but I think it'll help me for the hike I'm doing in Kauai in two weeks or a week and a half oh it'll be okay this is just hike and training Okay, the walk up wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Well, that mostly concludes the tour. If any other cool spots come up, we'll let you know. <laughs> what was that? See you next time. <laughs> just got some strawberries. I just have to wash it. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Wash, wash, wash. Wash, wash, wash. Okay. Mmm. Enak. Enak. My niece. <laughs> <laughs> What's my niece? Sweet. My niece. Sweet. John. 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 But John. Yeah, but Delicious. Oh, John. John. Delicious. Delis John. Sa John. <laughs> <laughs> Makan na e. Makan na e. Makan na e. Makan na e. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? Eat, eat this. now. Oh, wait. Makan na e. Makana it's like kaina. Kaina in Tagalog is like. Very delicious. Wow, this is really good. Mm. Hi. You okay with dog? Yeah, I love dogs. Uh, Hi. My first time getting street food and we're getting it in Denpasar and I'm getting lalapan and I'm getting ayam with chicken. Ayam. Tempeh. Tempeh. Tofu. Tofu. And vegetables. And vegetables. With white rice. Yum! I'm so excited. And it's on the ball. I just said, get me whatever. <laughs> Wash it really good. With your right hand. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. This is the tempeh. This is ayam. Rachel is officially leaving. Bye. She is going to the Philippines, which I'll be there in two weeks or two days. <laughs> the next two days are you and me. Bye. Safe travels. Thank you. Maybe I'll see you there. Yeah, I'll see you. Sampai jumpa. Good morning, viewers of this vlog. Thanks so much for continuing to watch until this point, because I know this is a very long vlog, but I don't care. I'm on a very long trip, so you're gonna get every single moment of it. First day by myself, second to last day of this trip, and so far I've not done any of the plans that I meant to do for this day. I was gonna do a sunrise surf, and then grab brunch, and then go to the shops and do a whole bunch of fun things, but I haven't left the house yet, and it's 10.35. There's just a lot of things that I gotta do today, and I haven't done a single thing, because I felt like sleeping in and just laying in bed all morning. But now that I've done that, it's time to be productive. Hey 
Hey vlog, I just finished surfing. It was a lot more aggressive than I thought it was from looking out from the shore. I like looked and I was like, these waves are reasonable, like I can do some of these. So the first half I kind of stayed on the inside, felt it out. I was like, these are super easy, I can probably go to the outside. But like I didn't mean to go all the way outside and then I kept getting really scared and then I kind of got stuck outside and then all these waves started coming and then I freaked out and then at one point it got super windy and I kept I kept drifting like further and further out, like towards the opposite direction of where I wanted to go and I was like, oh my gosh, I am not gonna survive this. Finally, like a, like a wave was coming in and I was like, I have to take this or that's it. And then again, I like somehow got sucked back out into the channel or I thought I was going into the channel. Anyways, I just kept getting stuck. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna stay like super, super inside. And then I did. And then I caught one wave in and then that was my surfing adventure. <laughs> That's probably gonna be my last experience surfing out here. I don't know if I'm gonna come back out here tomorrow. I'll probably do yoga instead tomorrow. And then tomorrow's my last day. And thankfully I wasn't the only one that that happened to. There was like a few other, I think, Australians. I don't know. There are these three guys that were out there that we, we were all looking at each other like we're all about to die. So at least I wasn't alone in that. So that was nice. Subalon Beach watching the sunset and it is insanely beautiful right now. I wish I could ever potentially even surf this but there is no possible way I ever will or want to but it is beautiful and I'm so glad that I am here for the sunset. Happy last day at Bali or in Bali. I had an amazing morning. I'm feeling really good, really refreshed and feeling good about the last two weeks that I've had here. I feel like it was a perfect amount of time. I think it was a perfect routine. Everything that I experienced in these past two weeks were exactly what I needed and exactly what I wanted. And I'm very happy and thankful for all of it. I am packing my stuff now. There's still a few things I still kind of wanted to buy though. Oh my god, I look so freaking dark. Dude, you guys, I got so dark out here. I can't think straight. I just got a massage, so I'm just fully relaxed. So I'm gonna keep zoning out and pack all of this. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, friends, we are headed out to our last and final adventure. We're going to the Uluwatu Temple to watch sunset. That is next on the agenda and the final thing on the agenda before I pack up and head to the airport. But speaking of packing up, I pretty much got everything in this luggage. So I'm pretty proud of myself for doing that. I literally thought I had to like go buy another bag to check in, but I got it all in this one. That's it. And then there's a place kind of close to there that I'll probably grab dinner. And that is going to be my final evening's adventure. So come along to the journey. We are almost there. We are almost to the end.
look who I just ran into in Manila. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> full sprint. <laughs> Hello. I, <laughs> I have my layover in Manila. And so I'm with my cousin and Rachel. We're just country hopping together by accident. <laughs> uh, but that's it. Okay, bye.